bulkheads and the symmetry of bulkheads. So in the last video where I was um, going to do a little bit of analysis and check whether the <coughs> slots were center and whether I felt that the bulkheads were um, a little bit off center or something, whatever. I started doing a bit of measurement and I'll just show you that one's a bit clearer. The um, lines that I've drawn from a corner to there and even though that one's missing most of its wood on the inside you can still you can still do a line and measure. So you can take measurements and get an idea of how um, how symmetrical an initial measure is looking. Now if these are not looking great obviously that means well your slots are not really to be relied upon which they weren't. While I was doing that I was also noticing that in some cases um, the the curvature seemed to be a little bit larger on the one side than on the other so I traced all of them out. I traced them all out cut them all out and folded them and I'm checking the <clears throat> I'm checking to see whether one side is the same as the other side so that orange I've highlighted on the orange there on the one side this is after you can see that one side is bigger and then when you fold it so that that is aligned and trying to get your best fit you can see that one side map in, in this case this this entire side is off but in some cases it might just be an area like that so just this area if you fold it it's the, the, some of the um, some of the amounts that they're off is very very little to see I don't know if it'll come through on the video but then also you get an idea that uh, according to your fold you can see that the slot is off in some cases quite significantly like a good three four millimeters um, so this kit doesn't come with the drawing of the bulkheads drawings of the bulkheads it um, just gives you the bulkheads so you don't have anything to cross-reference against and because the the um because the tracings have indicated that there's discrepancies between left and right um you can see that these were hand drawn bulkheads where the left was drawn and the right was drawn which is not accurate at all um which means my initial plan to then go and do a join across there and maybe maybe beef them up a little bit uh, someone suggested doubling them in thickness is not really worth doing because the bulkheads are not great to start with you could build a ship and I guess if most builders would not have checked the bulkheads they would end up with a ship that was okay but um, you'd end up with maybe a little bit of waviness or your left your left side of the hole and your right side of your hole wouldn't be perfectly symmetrical. I'll be more pedantic than that and I'll correct it all. Which means that I need to recreate my bulkheads, which is okay since I was thinking of doing that anyway in thicker material. I'll do it in 5mm ply or something. This is about 2.5, 3mm max. Um, so then taking a bulkhead which you are not exactly sure which is the better side the left or the right I mean the best you can do is sort of take an average eyeball it um, see what you think is the be the best looking curve um, since I have nothing to reference against I don't even have um, if you look at these if you look at this sheet <coughs> The top view I've measured against the I've measured against this um, deck piece and I have measured 
the side view against that piece, against the keel, and um, it's, you know, it's too long here, too short there, too wide here. It's inconsistently out of size. So it's not like I can take the plans and go and scale them up by 5% or wh whatever was required to match the keel. Um, so the build is sort of going to be a, almost um, a freestyle sort of build. You, you, you do the best that you can with the bulkheads. You do the best with the keel. Don't rely too much on the drawings and build the best hull that you can. Once you've got this hull, because the deck uh, items are somewhat simple um, and, and are easily placed uh, irrespective of the exact size of the boat, that's, that's no hassle. So everything on deck, easy, easy afterwards. It's just to get that hole right. And I'd like to get a nice symmetrical hole. And um, since I'm going to have to cut bulkheads, I'm just going to cut a new keel uh, in 5 more, So that'll solve that problem of the thickness and it'll solve the problem of getting the um, shaft sticking out of the thickness of the wood. So we solve a lot of problems by just remaking the bulkheads and keel out of 5 more. Um, so the next steps for me is to reproduce a drawing by using only one side and creating the other side by simply um, imaging it if you want uh, not not using the kit um, bulkhead to give you a guide just choosing the better side I mean it sounds easy to do that in some cases they they're really not good. Uh, I, I can't say that choosing the left or the right side would be better in either either way. But uh, we'll see how we go. Um, it is still possible that once I remake all my bulkheads and and they're perfectly symmetrical, that you still don't have the correct, perfectly smooth, uh, perfectly curved hole once your planks are on so you you sort of expect um a little bit of you know touches on this plank touches on that plank beautifully but if you pressed it into touch on that plank you'd end up with a bit of a wavy um plank line um that could happen certainly and we'll see how it goes but anyway so probably the next development for this to even get to stage one is to cut new parts which I will do. Cheers.